Hey, welcome back to Chick Flicks. So, the Jeffrey Dahmer series, right? I'm guessing you all have watched it. You know, there's going to be spoilers, of course. Um, I did do kind of a review on episode six and what I thought of that. But I am going to do like a full, maybe not really a review, but just who I think whose fault it was that, you know, Jeffrey turned out the way he did. Now, everyone, well, not everyone, but some people would say, you know, it's the dad's fault. Is it dad's fault Jeffrey turned this way? And... You know, um, he had a part in it because the dad, from what the show showed us, the dad was barely around, really. He wasn't really raising him. The only thing the dad really did um, from really raising him and taught him that add anything to his life was how to dissect, like, dead animals. Like, that's really the only thing we saw of his of his dad giving him life lessons, which was really wasn't a life lesson. It, it had a part to do with how he can, you know, um, just go into human bodies and do his own thing. And I'm speaking of Jeffrey, by the way. Um, I wouldn't really... I, I would say the dad played a part in it, but uh, it's not completely the dad's fault. Uh, I think the dad should have been more active in Jeffrey's life. And I think one of the reasons Jeffrey is the way he is is because the dad did show him how to do all that stupid shit with uh, dead animals. Now, as far as... And by the way, the um, reason I'm using this picture is because I remember the scene where the dad's girlfriend even said to the dad when the dad was trying to be like oh his his mom fault and i told her blah 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 she should have been she should have been there more she shouldn't have left him uh, that one time that jeffrey was um by himself for a while the his the dad's girlfriend even told him yeah but where were you you know and and that really uh tells you you know that the dad wasn't really active in jeffrey's life which is one of the reasons he turned on the way he did so i would say that that played a part in it now um one of the things people thought was, well, if Jeffrey had a friend, maybe he would be different. Maybe he would uh, be kind and maybe he wouldn't kill people. Maybe he wouldn't eat people. Right. That's one of the things I also thought, too. I thought maybe if he just found a real connection that he would be different. So that brings me to episode six. And episode six shows us, you know, Jeffrey talking to this guy. Um, I forgot his name, but he's falling in love. I'm sure you have, all have seen it. And, you know, Jeffrey is really building a connection with this guy. You know, they're, they're romantic together. Um, they're really, you know, liking each other. And here's what happens. Jeffrey still ends up killing him. So my thing is, and what I've always said, and what I said in my other review of episode six was, hey, Jeffrey was always going to be a killer. Jeffrey finally found someone that liked him romantically, sexually, all that good stuff. And he still ended up killing the guy. And I think eating the guy a little bit too, like, you know what I'm saying? So Jeffrey was always going to be a killer. Him finding a romantic partner was never going to change him, in my opinion. Because when he did find a romantic partner, he still ended up killing him. Jeffrey was always going to be a killer. He was always going to be bad. Now, did his upbringing have something to do with that? Yes. But my thing is, just because, just because he found someone doesn't mean he was going to change. And he didn't change. We saw it in the show. He still ended up killing the guy. Um, of course, there's some exaggerated things in the show um, that, like, you know, uh, wasn't shown. But, um, you know, what I got from it was Jeffrey was always going to be a killer and him finding love wasn't going to change anything. Now, my last thoughts on this. Um, the mom definitely was horrible. She was barely a mom anyway. She was really just cracked out. Um, the meds they gave her, you guys saw on the show, she was overusing them and, um, it, she just, she was a bad mom, man. Like even when she left with the little brother, like what kind of mom would do that? You know, um, she was very just extra and just not really a mom, you know, which played a part in Jeffrey's life. Jeffrey freaking, we saw on the show where he brought a beer to school and he drank it in the middle of class and was like, this is my medicine. You know, Jeffrey had a hard upbringing. And now I'm not saying to feel bad for the guy. Hell no. But I am saying it did play a part in it. Because uh, we got to remember, he came from a two-parent household. And, you know, you would think he would be all right. But he ended up turning out bad because even with two parents, they sucked. Both his parents sucked. Um, So that's what I have to say about that, though. Um, I think I think both his parents played a part in how his upbringing was. And I think, you know, Jeffrey was always going to be a killer at the end of the day, you know? He was always going to eat people. He was always going to be a killer, even with finding romantic love. So in conclusion, I think that, you know, um, it's not really just a dad's fault. It's not really just a mom's fault. 
it's both of their faults. And Jeffrey could have turned out different if he didn't have a dad that showed him how to like dissect dead animals and a mom who actually cared for him and nurtured him emotionally rather than uh, overusing her medicine, overusing drugs, then having a dad who's barely there, barely taking care of him and not taking no accountability in raising Jeffrey. But um, let me know what you guys think in the comments, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. 99% of you who watch aren't even subscribed. So guys, 